Um, I got the Warriors with the upset. Warriors going to upset the Lakers. Yo, what it do? It's your boys, Juice and Lou, and we back here with another episode for y'all. Got new week, new topics. We back on the NBA talks last sure. night. The NBA regular season has officially ended, and we got our mm-hmm. play-in tournament games now. So, uh, it's between the mm-hmm. Lakers, Lakers Warriors. And it was the Spurs, uh, Memphis, Wizards. Spurs, Memphis mm-hmm. the in the West. West. And then in the East, we got uh, Wizards and uh, Pacers. No, Wizards, Wizards? Celtics and Wizards, Pacers. Wizards, Celtics and then Pacers, it. Charlotte. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so we're going to get into that. Uh, we're going to break it down. We're going to give you our picks, our predictions. Uh, so, J. Lou, go ahead and take us in. Yep. So they play tomorrow, actually. It's the east side. The east goes first, and then west plays Wednesday. So to break it down again, the playing how it works, the 7 A seed, let's start with the east, I guess. Go, it would be Celtics versus Wizards, because they're the 7 A seed right now. The winner automatically gets the 7 seed, so they don't got to play another game. So the winner of that game automatically gets the 7 seed, and the loser plays the winner of the Charlotte and Indiana game for the eighth spot, the last spot. So I guess I'll start off with my prediction for the East. Boston plays Washington. Now, Boston is favorite, actually, surprised. Without mm-hmm. Jalen Brown, he's out for the year. And with the struggles they have been going through this season, I actually had them losing this game. Um. They're playing against a tough Wizards team who's very hot right now because they figured out how to play with Westbrook and Beal together. And the role players, they're stepping up, like Rui, Raw Nato, and the others on the team. So I got the Wizards upsetting, quote-unquote, I guess, the Celtics who are injured. Jason Tatum, he's had a good season. Kemba, pretty disappointing season, huh? But the team overall has been disappointing in Boston. You got they they traded Daniel Dice and bought an Evan Fournier. Evan Fournier hasn't been that much of a help for them in Boston after getting rid of getting rid of uh, Daniel Dice, of course, and losing that size. They only have one center now, which is Robert Williams, because they don't play Taco Fall really. And I think that's their biggest loss for the season. Losing Jalen Brown, of course, that definitely helped lost their playoff hopes, in my opinion, and the season. So I got Washington winning that behind Beal and Westbrook. Then in the ninth through tenth seed, I got this is tough because no Gordon Hayward and the Pacers. I don't know if Miles Turner's playing. But Sabonis is hot lately. He, he's have a he's had a great year. I think he's averaged. I think he's at 24, 12 boards, close to six assists, five assists. He's putting up good numbers this year. The team overall, Karis LeVert is making a huge impact. I don't think they have Malcolm Brogdon either right now. So they are banged up as well. But Hornets, they got sensation. You know, Lamel Ball. Terry Rozier, Devontae Graham, Miles Bridges. Their team is playing really good this year. And P.J. Washington. So that's a competitive game. That's going to be a competitive game. Now, honestly, I got I got Indiana with the upset here. Just because Gordon Hayward's out. Yeah, I, I think if Gordon Hayward was in, Hornets win, win this game. But I don't see them. I don't see them winning against the Pacers. Like I said, Sabonis has been hot this year. Their team, Karis LeVert, actually just dropped on the last week: 38, 11 assists, six boards. He was hooping. He was hooping. So 
I got that's who I got. I got Indiana being the eighth spot. Wizards, they would be playing the Nets. That would be interesting. That would be an interesting first round. So that's for the East. You can go ahead. I want to hear your East first. Or go to the um, West. you had the Wizards winning. I don't. I think Boston. I think Jason Tatum. I don't think he's gonna go like that. I don't think he's gonna go like that. Losing Jalen Brown did hurt a lot, actually. But Kemba Walker, he was like sorry during the season, but at the end stretch, he's been playing okay. He's been playing all right. So, um, if you get what you're supposed to get out of Kemba, and if Jason Tatum plays like how he's supposed to play, I think they do. I think they get uh Washington out of there. I think they get him out of there. Um, especially, like you said, the Wizards are hot, though. Russ doing his thing. Uh, Bradley Beal, he's not 100%, though. So uh, we, we don't know how he's gonna, how that's going to affect him. He just tried to make himself play the other night, and he's re-injuring it, and they had to force him to sit out. So we don't know how it's going to affect him in this game. So I, I would like... I like Jason Tatum and Campbell Walker. I like their odds better than the Wizards right now. But um, the other game, I like Indiana as well. I just don't think as good as Charlotte has been playing during this season with and without LaMelo, is I just don't see them making that push for the playoffs. Even if they beat Indiana, I don't see them beating – uh, the Celtics. So as much talent as they have, I just don't see it. So I don't see them beating Indiana, especially with Sabonis. And his and his ending stretch on the season has been dominant too. So Sabonis Lavert has been a great pickup for them. That was a great trade uh, that uh, for their favor. And Miles Turner, he is he's iffy. Uh, like you said, I think he's injured, right? So yeah. We don't know really, but who can you really say is a big man threat on the Charlotte side? So PJ Washington having a good year. As a big man? He's a four, but I thought he, he's more like a small or, forward to me. Well, he runs the four, but Well, I, that works out, I guess. But Terry, you gotta get a lot out of Terry. LaMelo's going to have to score more. And uh, everybody's going to have to keep on doing what they're doing if they want to, if they even have, to, just to have a chance, honestly. But I have uh, so seven got seed Boston and uh, Indiana, or, Indiana. So you got Indiana beating Washington. Yeah. <sighs> That's tough. And he had to beat Washington. I think they can. Wow. Over Bill and Westbrook. Like I said, Bill was wouldn't be a hundred percent. So I got he's not a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I got in the end of beating that. If Bill sat out like how he was supposed to, then I'd give oh I'd give Washington a chance. But he I he was too focused on a regular season game. Instead of looking at the bigger picture, so that, that that's gonna hurt them. I mean, if they lost though yesterday, because he didn't play, they would be the eighth seed, and they would only get one chance to make the playoffs. So losing, they get two chances. Well, winning I mean, since they won yesterday. I'd rather take that chance. I'd I'd rather have one game. With a hundred percent, with my, uh, I guess best player, second best player, I don't, uh, on the team with my top player on the team, one hundred percent, then two games, and I don't know how one of my best players are. That's 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 me though. That's me. So, All right. I got Indiana at eight, Boston at seven. All right, that's interesting. Moving to the West, um, seven and eighth seeds. You got the Lakers at seven and Warriors at eight. In the ninth, you got the Grizzlies and the Spurs at 10. So for me, 
man. Curry is cooking. Just dropped 46 last night. Um, Scary hours. Lakers, AD, Braun, their team's back and healthy. Schroeder's back off COVID list. So most of their, most of their pieces are all back and healthy. The playoff run. Man. I got I got Lakers winning. I don't see LeBron and them losing. Not to the Warriors who don't have Clay or James Wiseman this year. I know Curry's cooking now. He's gonna be a problem, but I don't see them as a collective unit beating the Lakers who are trying to defend their title this year. Not in the play and not in the first play in, in the West. So the Lakers get the seventh seed. And Grizzlies Spurs, I got the Grizzlies winning. Um, Spurs, they haven't been impressive to me this year. They just they they lack a lot of shooting ability from outside, which is key in today's NBA, of course. And they don't have the personnel either to shoot like that. So they're kind of stuck in old school basketball, just not going to work. The Grizzlies with John Morant, Darren Jackson has came back. Jonas Valanciunas having a good year as well. The, t- the team is very solid as well as Dillian Brooks and Kyle Anderson had good years. So the team is on track. They had a solid year. John Morant kind of underperformed this year. He's not shooting the ball really well. I think he's shooting high 20% from three at least. So he needs to fix that in his third year next year. But without, they didn't have Jaron Jackson most of the year. So they finished with the ninth seed. I got them beating the Spurs in the play-in, matching them up against the Warriors for the eighth spot. And I got to go with Golden State, getting the eighth spot. They, they're, they're like we saw yesterday. I mean, John Moran said him himself, Curry, is the M- could be the MVP in some people's eyes this year over Jokic, Embiid, whoever else, Dame, Chris Paul, whoever else you had up there. Just because of the way he's had a great year for the Warriors, doing it all by himself, people say, averaging 30, I think it's 32 points, 31 points this year. So I got the Warriors to the eighth spot. That would be, they match up against the Jazz. Or, and the Lakers would be seeing the Suns. That's who I got in the West. Um, I got the Warriors with the upset. Warriors going to upset the Lakers. Steph, is, wow. there's nobody, they, they, nobody in this league has an answer for Steph. It's just simple. He should be MVP in my eyes. There's no doubt about it. He willed this team in the playoffs. If, if there was no Steph this year, I don't think they win no more than 15 games. Um, Steph is definitely MVP in my eyes. I, th- I, I was saying Joel Embiid this whole time. I know I was like, oh, what happened to Joel Embiid? Listen, Steph by himself with a little, with a little bit of help of, of Draymond, a little bit of help, but Steph pretty much by himself dragged this team in the playoffs. In the West, I should, I should add, in the West. Like, come on now. Uh, with Without Clay. So imagine if he had Clay. Uh, listen, the Lakers, LeBron, who knows if he's 100%. AD, who knows if he's 100%. They, they claim that they're back. Kuzma can play good one game and then disappear the next. Same with almost everybody on that team. So really, you just got to worry about two people. I think Draymond is going to do a great job of being a, the leader the vocal leader and like the point forward, like the like the way the Warriors play basketball is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Who's home? Who would be home? The Lakers would be home. Lakers. Mm. I thought it was Warriors. That's I still got the Warriors winning though. I still got the Warriors winning. There's just no answer for stuff. It's just simple as that. Uh, but the Lakers will go on to beat whoever comes out of Memphis and Spurs. But I do have the Spurs making it out of that. I don't think John Morant is going to show up. Jaron Jackson, he just came back from an injury. Uh, who knows if he's going to, like, I think it's his first playoff appearance. So who knows if he'll show up. 
uh, and everybody else. I, it's a it's a young team. Not really. They've never really been hit with this kind of pressure before. So who knows? Um, mm-hmm. So I I think the Spurs just being led by Greg Popovich alone is going to take them uh, take them against uh, the Grizzlies. But they're going to lose to the Lakers. So I got I'm a, I'm a same as yours. Just flip them. I got the Lakers at eighth, Warriors at seven. And that's, you saying that's that so the Lakers avoid your sons? Avoid my no, I ain't, I ain't worried about them. Ain't nobody worried about them, man. I promise. But there is some. I saw something right before we started recording. It said, "Who is the most dangerous person in the in game one?" Since it's only like since uh, the Lakers and Warriors only play one time. Uh, I guess they're like saying if it like in a series standpoint, who would be more dangerous in a game one, Steph or LeBron? Right. Steph or LeBron is it's, it's easily Steph. In a game one, it's easily Steph. LeBron, he gonna go out, he gonna get twenty five, he gonna get some assists, gonna get some rebounds. But you don't tremble Taking Steph when you, over LeBron in a do or die you situation. You don't trump. You don't tremble. You don't tremble when you see LeBron right now. I'll say right now. Right now, if it was LeBron against Boston, Game Six, like all that stuff, that's a different story. But right now, you don't fear LeBron. You look at if you looking at LeBron, you looking at Steph. Who's gonna fear Steph? As soon as he cross half court, you gotta worry. Even then, who knows if he can make that jump from beyond half court? LeBron, mm-hmm. LeBron, he's not the greatest shooter. He's dominant. In the paint, that's all right. He's dominant, best all around player, you could say. But if we're talking about who I fear in a situation when he's crossing half court, it's Steph Curry, without a doubt. Without a doubt, that's all I gotta say. I don't know. Yeah, are you taking who are you taking in that situation? In a do or die game, I'm taking LeBron crazy. over Curry. You're crazy, do or die I, I don't any know. day. You saw Game 7s. Game 7s? How many Game 7s? He beat the Spurs in a Game 7. Beat the Warriors in a Game 7. Beat Boston to get to the Finals in a Game 7. I mean, he, he wins How game long seven. ago? How I long mean, ago the Warriors, was What was the, the last Finals he was in? The Warriors? No, not the last Finals he won besides last year. It was 2016. I mean, that was game seven in Oracle. We well, saw I'm what saying, happened there. But I, I, I wasn't saying. I was saying right now, though. That's what I'm saying. At during those times, yeah, you're going to fear LeBron. That was 2018 to 20, nah, 20, uh, 2016 and 2018, Bron, was probably one of the scariest people in play, come playoff time ever. Ever. It wasn't scary last year in playoffs? No. It wasn't scary last year. <sighs> that was AD's team in that playoff run. Okay. That was AD's team. Oh, my God. But this year, so I guess, he's so I guess not scary no one more. One game and then only two games in the finals isn't scary. They went, what, 16-5 and five in the playoffs? Yeah, 16-5. That five. was AD's team, that playoff run. That was AD's team. There's no doubt in my mind about it. <sighs> That's that's facts. All right. Anyways. Yeah, bro. That's going to wrap up this episode, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, let us know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are the Lakers going? Uh, the Lakers going to be the Warriors? Warriors going to be the Lakers? You know? Who knows? Uh, let us know. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, go to the link in our description. We, go, we got an Instagram for y'all. Got merch coming yeah. soon. Real soon, matter of fact. And, um... We got something good for you tomorrow. But until then, it's your boys, Juice and Lou, and we out of here. Peace.